Wednesday we are in Birmingham <laughs> on the whiskey tour and hard to find whiskies. You've probably seen it on a website. Here it is in real life. Wow, what a selection of whiskies they have inside. Uh, we shall go and see Simon. Can we let me film? Oh, button, that button. I have been uh, attempting to bribe Simon with some Elijah Craig. Yeah, and um, yeah. Okay, where, sh where shall we start? I think we'll just work our way around. Yeah. Could have bought three, three bottles. Same thing. Same thing here. Uh, could have bought apple at seven bucks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> A lot of things that could have been bought. Yeah. But is that the same thing? Well, a four in a, in a Tesco to me. Yeah. <laughs> They're just talking about old hibikis that they did or didn't buy. It's called jumping backwards, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could have been so smart. So are these the more rounded bottles? Are those the older Scotch whiskey Indeed. society bottles? I see. And then the square ones are newer ones. There's a nice Glen Farkless. I'm sure that's lovely. What do we have here? Yeah, yeah, actually, we're going to get a little bit of our egg. Yeah, yeah. Should I do this side? No, I haven't even gone this side yet, have I? Okay. Nice. I've never seen tealing in such fancy big bottles. Yes, they're uh, vintage. Yeah. Because you probably, you've probably heard that they picked yeah. up the world's best whiskey in the World Whiskey Awards this year. Oh, they did? They're 24 year old. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, first Irish distillery to ever pick up the award. Right. So, that's probably done uh, done a lot for the sales. <laughs> we sold a fair few on the back of it. <laughs> but it's good, good for Irish whiskey. Yeah. yeah. Irish whiskey was 15 years ago. Right. Um, yeah, the profile is coming up, it seems. Yeah. It's a real thing to have Irish Yeah, that's it. it is going a little mad everywhere, isn't it? Although I see myself as part of the problem, not the solution. So. <laughs> we did drop in on Annandale Distillery up near Dumfries, which is just producing whiskey. Yeah. They were four years in. It was interesting to see to see that. I better zoom in for for the Americans. Okay. George T. Stag. Wait, no, no pappies lurking in here, Simon. Sold the last one. Oh yeah. The months ago, the twenty-three. Right. Dare I ask what that sold for? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and then you suck that for a film, you just back the book. Yes. Yeah. And then I suck that for a film. I also think um, in terms of those bot things, there's been a shift, I think, in terms of how they come to market these days. I think right. Focused a bit more on the on trade, so yeah. actually having bottles in bars or so yeah. actually try them. Because obviously right. the problem with that level of bottles yeah. is you probably see it many, many No one's ever going to open them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know, talking to the, yeah. the smaller retailers, 
over in the US, they have to buy, you know, like 100 cases of whatever Buffalo Trace to get one allocated stag or That's whoever. the same for everyone everywhere. That is. Yeah. It's not, just, it's not just Buffalo Trace to do that. <laughs> have you have you bought anything yet? The character of East Band. We need a documentation. Our friends David and Tracy have <laughs> brought us over to tempt us here. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Some uh, ones you don't see every day. Yeah, I have not seen this in real life before. Compass box. It's a well-respected uh, whiskey blending company, but they do fantastic stuff. So right. I think this is something like it's it's Kleinlish and Colila, is it? Yes. No. Yeah. Uh, but they're both old, aren't they? Like closer to the 30 year end of the scale, I think. Yeah, so it's about 50-50 of a peated and a, and a Kleinlish. It's got no price on, so I'm guessing that one's just on display. <laughs> oh, that's, okay, that's the... It's on the Jack Daniels. Excuse me. <laughs> you can't do my discount on the super, can you? Huh? I'm afraid not, sorry. <laughs> it's in the um, it's volume. Yeah. yeah, it's all right. Uh, Talking over it is fine. Jack Daniels. Yeah, I was over there. I was over there first. Uh, that's an old scapper, probably. Which are these, which we get five different. Japanese ones for 32 dollars It's going to be a long video. A lot of bottles to see. <laughs> I don't normally go this slow. Where are we, Aaron? Yeah, where to, where to slow down? I'll rely on the fact that you'll just pause if you want to see something. I've never seen that price before. <laughs> For years. Just the boy years. Yes. Do you check how many zeros there are there? That is a $75,000 or more. almost three. For 75 years. Yeah, ooh. Um, yes. Let's just start at the top. <laughs> I'll go a little closer. Yes. It is an expensive mini. Thank you very much. Thank you. Fantastic, thanks so much. Thank you. 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 Thank of this your is eyes. Like being in the candy store. I'm yeah. not quite sure what this is like. Doing <laughs> it. It's, um, I mean, it is kind of overwhelming seeing you know, bottles that you hear about, but there's tons of stuff. It's just like, I have no idea what that is. You know, I know of Brora, but, um, yeah. There's obviously Glen, Glen Fiddick over here, but it isn't Glen Fiddick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like super glam Yeah. We will get to normal bottles at some point, but we're working our way down from the top this time, it seems. Yes. We are in the Highlands. Ah. Ben Nevis 10. Single cask. No, I think that's the one that we bought in Scotland. 
Maybe. Unless that's a different batch or something. Yeah. 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 All point you 21. This is still knocking around in San Francisco. I know where you can buy it for about 180 US. <laughs> but it's all sold out in the UK. Right. So 400 here. Should have brought a couple over. Yeah. <laughs> Although we did, um, we have put a couple of bottles in Scotch whiskey auctions, so it'd be fun to see what happens with them. Let me display that and see where we're going. Okay. I, should, I should point out that we're only halfway around the shop at this point. <laughs> How long? Let's see. I'm already uh, 11 minutes in. <laughs> Don't panic. There's more coming. Of all the places for it to be. Yeah. <laughs> Ardmore, our old friend, has kind of started us off on whiskey. Yes, Pedro Jimenez. Okay. Pedro Jimenez, it's just ah, the, the, the sweet sherry ah, I know. Yeah, compared yeah, to yeah, yeah. Oloroso. Yeah. Okay. Just doing a okay. bit of translation. Okay. Adita there. Like an orange. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oloroso sherry. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought we'd, I thought we'd left McAllen. We're back at McAllen. Not the 20 grand bottle then. Yeah. A snip. Let's see. McAllen Editions. They've just put out a new one, so it should be along shortly. Hmm, 2017 classic cut. I saw in, in Costco. That man of more. Okay, what year? Almost around the glass cabinets. It's the most glass cabinet per, you know, square foot that we've <laughs> seen, I think. You're getting out any ideas for your basement? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need more glass cabinets yeah, at home. Yeah. Clearly, it's the way forward. Glen Yeah. It's the one we were talking about. But not that one. Yeah. Not the nine grand model. Yeah, not the family collection. Link words. Oh, right, there's going to be some old Ockentosh in there. That's a distillery just by Glasgow. We had an epic tasting in Glen Scotia, I'll tell you about after. And we're in the Springbank section. Okay. I look deeper. There's your 13 year. Not quite organic mm. spring bank. I think you're about right. I tried one when I went to Pit Lockery. Oh we went to a distillery yeah. years ago. Yeah. I was at a ball in Pit Lockery with the ex 
and we went to a distillery, tried some whiskey, and I can't remember what it was. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about 1988. We'll you know. have to look up uh, which distillery is yeah. near Pitlochry. Yeah. We'll go and find it. I think it's Edge of the Highlands. Yeah, we'll have to look it up. I don't know. I know they the, you know, special tartan there and all this stuff. Yeah. Uh, Old spring banks, those boxes in the background. Ooh, pricey. A couple of local barleys, though. They are, they are a hard to find one. Well, right. we're in the right place for hard to find yeah, whiskey, of yeah. course. So what do we got? 300 for the 11. But not dusty. 400 for the 16. Right. And 500 for the 25 year old. Uh, local barley is literally that. Uh, barley grown on uh, in Campbelltown near the distillery. So what, what was distinguishes the quali these quality ones? You know, is it just the age and the, how they're prepared or the rarity? Most of this is historical yeah. interest, isn't it? So you're into collectible and art prices so like, scarce, like anything. Scarcity value. Yeah. When we go around the uh, the nun glass cabinet. <laughs> We can talk more normal places. So we had um, an Octomore at uh, the Brook Laddie Distillery, which was which was a great tasting as well. These Black Arts are 23, 22, 23 year old whiskies. In there. Three, three, three. I really should have a bottle of whiskey with 3D on the name, shouldn't I? <laughs> you know what you got to do? Yeah. Get your own, get your own still. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hang on. Twenty-five. Trying to catch a few prices that people might you know, actually know. This is absolutely going to be the longest shop tour video ever. <laughs> Might have to break it into two parts. <laughs> and, and even now I feel like I'm rushing by. It's like just, so sorry. just zipping by, you know, 20 Port Islands on the shelf here. <laughs> okay. I thought it more. I thought it knew me. Yeah, there's that uh, 27 year old Lafroy that we got a taste of. Oh, look. The 18 year old Lafroy that we have. I'm looking forward to that as well. Oh, that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, it must be an early Karchus. Both, but these are, you know, historical interest. They're not the oh. current batches. See, we've already looked at the 50-year Beaumont, so the more standard ages just aren't that exciting after you've seen a 50-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our big fans. Some old boxes in there. It's the, it's the closest you get to dusty. <laughs> ah, there's Eric's bottle. A friend has that one. Dark Cove. That's another popular one. People like that. This is Petey. Petey, yeah. Mm. Super, there's that supernova that I picked up in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. I'm literally on my knees at the art bag altar here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is everyone exhausted yet? <laughs> I feel it's mentally, mentally beaten up. Oh, what a, what a great set. little set of minis there. I don't think, I've, don't think we've seen the Aaron 14 as a mini before.
Was it am any good? Well, do you want to see normal whiskies after that amazing roundup? I think we should. I'll, I'll zigzag around the middle. Now we've been over there already. There's a 25 year old Linkwood. We like the Linkwood in the, in the bar. All right, here's a few that you might, might know. The new Bell Blairs. Aaron as the 18. And go some tamdus. What's that? The hazel burnt oloroso. David's reached saturation point on whiskey. <laughs> he's, uh, he's reverting to the phone. Hello. It's like, how long can this go on? No, I've got, mate, you just, just take your time. <laughs> nice run of Gordon McPhail's here. We've got Glen Fergie, McDuff, Glen Liver, Glen Tockers. Mm. Hey, it's the India section. <laughs> the India section. Oh, there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there. <laughs> ah, Delilah. You're never too far away from White Walker. You can always be found. Oh, the boat is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I haven't actually mentioned the carpet yet, but uh, I'm literally crawling around on it. Okay, here, uh, <laughs> uh, here, I'm gonna get this one. I'm not seeing. He's not here. Oh, he's not here. They have an old Elijah Craig, but they don't have a a normal one. Do people want to see prices of bourbons over here? There you go. I'm going to see that ball. This day. If he wants Pikesville. I have a bunch of Irish as well. Swedish. Got a good... Good stuff in the world. Of this is of Irish. County. What happens is I put the videos up and then everyone says, why didn't you buy this one? Go back. <laughs> By which time I've left the town. Yes. So I need to upload faster. <laughs> Sean will be shouting in the comments about which Irish whiskey I've passed on yet again. <laughs> oh, English. Oh yeah, English whiskey. Okay, I think let's let's wrap this up. We've got one more one more hour to cover. Price. Yes. More of your standards. Drum grooves kelpie, kind of reckon. It's Glen Scotia. Mm. 
Is the SD card full yet? <laughs> Have we, have we covered everything? I think we have. On that, oh, I'll bring No, I will try and work out what we're doing. Oh, mini. No, yeah, we've done the minis. I think. Fi finally, oh no, one last little wave through. Bunch of flora and fauna is there. I have a friend I've abandoned us. Yeah, I think our friends have left us. They've had enough. Oh, Trace is back. <laughs> oh, you we're, we're still looking, Tracy. Camera's still rolling. <laughs> I was shaking. We have, we have finally finished. I was shaking. Hey, it's all bad. Is he all right? I'm going to have a seat at the bar? Okay, good. <laughs>